Hello everyone. The one who's talking with you now is your mathematics teacher, who cannot wait to see you in the class. My name is Zat Utum. Math would be a funny and wonderful subject. I'm sure some of you looked before to math as a difficult subject, but in our class, we will change this feeling. And I promise you that the math will be very easy and interesting. Welcome everyone again to this exciting journey into the world of mathematics. Now, let me talk about the fundamental concepts that form the building blocks of our subject. In our subject, we will study four units. Unit number one, use positive rational numbers and integers. Unit number two, numeric and algebraic expressions. Unit number three, represent and solve equations and inequalities. Unit number four, understand and use ratio, rate, and percent. The first unit, use positive rational numbers and integers. Our mathematical begins with positive rational numbers and integers. Rational numbers that are those that can be expressed as fractions, where the numerator and denominator are integers. For instance, 1 over 2 or 0 0.75 and even 1.25 are all rational numbers. Integers, on the other hand, include all positive and negative wall numbers, as well as 0. These numbers play a role in various mathematical operations and real-world applications. Now, let's move on. To the second unit, numeric and algebraic expressions. In mathematics, expressions are combinations of numbers, variables, and operators. These expressions help us understand relationships and perform calculations. Think of expressions like receipts for solving math problems. Now, let us talk about unit number three. Representing and solving equations and inequalities is another critical skill. Equations are a statement that show two expressions are equal. They help us find unknown values. Inequalities, on the other hand, show relationships between expressions that are not necessarily equal. Solving equations and inequalities involve a series of logical steps, just like solving puzzles. Unit number four, the last unit in our subject, understand and use ratio, rate, and percent. Ratio expresses the relative sizes of two quantities. Rates are special kind of ratio that involves time, but the percentages are ratios expressed as fractions of 100. These concepts are everywhere in our daily lives from receipts in the kitchen to discounts during shopping. As you continue your mathematical journey, remember that understanding these ideas is not just about numbers and symbols. It's about problem solving and critical thinking. It's about approaching challenge with confidence and the right tools. In conclusions, Positive rational numbers and integers, numeric and algebraic expressions, equations and inequalities, and ratio, rate and percent are foundational concepts that empower us to understand the overcome the world of mathematics. So, embrace the numbers, embrace the challenge and let your mathematical journey begin. This is the mathematics that we will learn during this year. As you can see, it will be simple and fine. As I promised you at the beginning, we will not face any difficulties and the math classes will be full of fun. We will be together step by step. We will have a determination and the strength to change our view of mathematics. Because mathematics is a practical subject and we use 
the mathematics in our daily lives. In a math class, I will deal with everyone according to his level. I will work on a developing all levels so that everyone can reach the level of a creativity. We will also have a continuous assessment to ensure understanding and develop your level. We will have money practical. Also, we will have money activities that connect mathematics with our daily lives. And this will make mathematics simple and fun as well. What I want is for you to enter the math class with a smile and determination. See you soon. Good luck.